I'd like to talk a little bit about a tool called Measure Item. Measure Item allows you to pick any geometry on your screen or in the tree to measure its properties. How big is it? How long is this line? Where is this point located? So if I come in here and hover over the top of this face, you'll notice that the icon for the cursor is an active and a live icon. It changes to a plane indicating that it's a plane. If I hover over the top of this curve, you'll notice that segment is seen as a line. Over this curve, you'll see that is noticed, or segment is recognized as a um, spline or a curve. Same thing with this over here. This is a surface. It sees it as a surface. If I come over here, you'll notice that it is seen as a cylindrical face. So that icon next to the cursor is very significant in regards to what you are picking. So I'll go into customize just to show you the various options that you have. You can pick volumes, surfaces, arcs, edge, point, and angle by three points. And these are all of the various options that you have within each of those selection types. So if I come in and pick this face, that face now it's telling me measuring a surface this is the plane side this is the area this is my XYZ if you'll notice in the window not in the flag but in the window I also have a perimeter value here I have this is my center of gravity this is my XYZ here this is the plane this is when I say plane I mean the vector direction and this is the orientation of that vector and this is the location in space based off of that orientation. This is my surface area. If I were to pick this face, you'll notice that again it's a measure surface, perimeters and so on and so forth. So it doesn't matter what type of surface you select, whether it's cylindrical, spherical, a, a B surface such as this or a planar surface it recognizes it just as a surface in the tree. If I open up this measurement you'll notice that I have the area, perimeter and so on. If I turn on keep measure I can keep these measurements in the tree so if I need to use these for anything in the future I can use them as a reference. Other things that I have within this are the ability to go in and specify a body. By picking a body you'll notice that it gives me a basic volume. There's better tools for volume that we're going to use, or I should say other tools for volume that we're going to use as well. So this is just a volume, your area, gives you your center of gravity. All right, let me cancel and come back in. Measure item. You'll also notice here I have else approximate or I should say exact else approximate so if I pick a bit of geometry you'll notice here calculation mode it tells you exact what the approximate is for is if I'm in a tessellated mode or a CGR for example CGR is a representation not a true measure of the part just a basic representation so it's faceted so that would give you an approximate measurement now if I go through you'll notice that I have another option here it's called other axis so for example I'm gonna come in I'm gonna measure item I'm gonna pick select this point to get my coordinate off of that point you'll notice that it is in this location I have an axis system set up if I turn on other axis use this you'll notice that my point now is being measured back to this axis system. So this is really good in the context of modeling. If you're modeling away from, let's say you have an engine axis or you have an absolute axis and you're working on a point or an area, let's say on a car, your absolute axis is located in front on the floor of the car. Where if I'm working on the rear bumper, I may want to set up an axis system based off of a dataming location and reference that axis system for everything that I do. And 
pulling a measurement off of that axis system now allows me to simply turn on other axis and measure against this axis system. If I turn that off, you'll notice that those points go back to the absolute axis. Another thing that I can do in this case is if I wanted to measure the perimeter of, let's say, this curve, if I simply select this line here, you'll notice it just picks that line. If I wanted to measure the entire length of that curve, what I would need to do is pick that feature out of the tree. And by selecting that feature out of the tree, it's giving me the length, the total length of that curve.